Welcome back to Charter California Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest, Jen Mark, she is the mayor of San Luis Obispo. And what a series of twists and turns dealing with a plot of land between Highway 101, the Madonna Road, and Los Osos Road. Most of it is known as Delidio Ranch. Right. There is some serious news coming out of Delidio Ranch, though. What can you tell us? Uh, well, um, it turns out that um, Ernie Delidio, whose family has owned, I think his grandfather owned that land, it's been in the family for years and years, um, he's decided to sell the property and um, he's entered into escrow uh, with two local developers. One is Clint Pierce, who's the son-in-law of the Madonna family sure. and is the main person who developed the Target and ah. Home Depot and Costco and all that. And also Gary Grossman, who's from South County, Rio Grande, and his main thing is building residential. So. And so the good news connected to the Delidio Ranch is it appears that a deal has come into place that will create some green space, but also for some development. And it right. seems to be a win-win for both sides, because as part of a 1994 land use plan, the hope had been that that grand parcel would have a nice mix of ag and residential commercial. Right, that was the vision, that was a community vision in the 1994 land use and circulation right. element update, and it's actually being implemented. There are now 27 acres of um, urban agriculture, This we're calling it the city farm, Right. and uh, a local restaurateur has now subleased that land to grow organic vegetables for his restaurant. What's remarkable about <laughs> this journey is how long it really has been. I yeah. know you specifically yeah. have played some role in it for all, mm -hmm. over 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, it's gone to the voters twice. It's gone to appellate courts. I mean, it really has <laughs> taken some serious twists and turns. Why do you think it's this moment in time that the issue appears to have finally resolved? Um, well, we'll know when escrow closes, right? But let's, right? for argument's but, sake. Uh, Oh, I think a huge factor is that um, the city is now updating our land use and circulation uh -huh. element. And so it's a chance for the whole thing to be looked at again. Right, right now this land is in the county. Which is so interesting <laughs> yeah. that it is. It's a donut hole. It's with, a little right. tiny island, yes. And so to be annexed into the city, this is a good time for uh, new buyers to come forward and say this is the plan we want. Otherwise right. they'd have to ask for an amendment to the general plan. And of that, the county or of the city? Of the city. Okay. <laughs> so if it's annexed into the city, it will have to conform to the city regulations and ordinances and to our general plan. But that's what we anticipate is assuming escrow closes, that we will see that annexation. I, I uh, yes. So tell us, assuming escrow closes again, mm -hmm. what we can expect from the Delidio Ranch. Well, what they're proposing, um, and this is a preliminary proposal which they're now showing to all the department heads throughout the city to make sure right. they know what it would cost, what the requirements are. Right. So they're talking about multifamily housing, a smaller um, a commercial component with shops and restaurants next to the existing shopping centers. Right. Uh, Single-family homes, and then a high-tech business park. Nice. Uh, and a hotel and conference center. Not very nice. And then preserving somewhere between 50 and 65 acres in ag open space with a farm stand and a barn. Wow. And uh, also they're talking about an overpass, not an interchange, but an overpass. And I was going to ask you about that because yeah. obviously <laughs> this is a significant development. Have traffic and transportation concerns been addressed? Um, they're in the, uh, no, <laughs> because, to be? because you need to establish the land use before you can figure out what it would mean in terms of traffic and all that. But we expect that to occur. Uh, we expect them to figure out, yeah, <laughs> if it turns out, I mean, we right. don't really know at this point if it would pencil out. So to if be it continued, does, she's to Jan Marks, I'm Brian Pomerantz, we're going to send you back to HLN.